George in Rochester, Minnesota. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And today I'm going to show you how I cut the Zeiss Light D Invisible Bifocal with Photo Fusion Gray and DuraVision Silver Anti Glare for your Ray Ban 7118. This is the Dean Color 2012, which is a Havana in the 50i size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Ray Ban sends it to me. Your Ray-Ban hard shell case, Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and the star of the show, the main attraction. It comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. This is, hopefully you can see it, the RB7118. The nickname is Dean. It is the color 2012, which as you can see is the Havana in the 50 eye size the classic tortoise frame now this is a round frame nearly round but it has the traditional saddle bridge versus a keyhole bridge i'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses and of course you're going to be receiving all of this put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker program this shape into the computer 2284 so years from now should you ever need new lenses i can mail them right to your frame i'm going to hit the start button a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account dollars, you will get reimbursed for your purchase when you submit the receipt that I provide to you. Now that's the shape that I'll be cutting. We're going to move on to the next screen to enter your pupillary distance and height of the progressive. Your PD is 62 divided by 2 is 31. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button until we get to 31. I want to raise the optical center height up 3 millimeters. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. And I got my little strap in the way. That's what you were seeing there. That was in the way. Let me move that out of the way. So, now these are your Zeiss lenses. Again, Zeiss will take it from me. Take it from them, a leader in precision optics since 1846. You are getting the Zeiss Light D progressive lens, digital freeform progressive lenses. They come with their packets. The nice thing I love about Zeiss is they document everything. It tells you the brand, the prescription, and minus cylinder as well as plus, even though nobody uses, well, I don't use plus anymore. Some doctors still write it in plus. It tells you the material, it tells you it's photo fusion gray. You get the RX verification card that you can literally take this to your doctor. It shows you the compensated formula, which can be read in several different ways. And it gives you all of this information. It tells you the brand, the laser engravings that are in the lens, the strength, all of that. So when your doctor asks you what you are wearing, you can take this back to them and completely wow them. And um, yeah, it gives you all the extra information. So. I'm going to take your right lens out of the package. It is marked right. It comes with the little dots on the lenses. And of course, I, well, let's do this. Your prescription reads minus, for your right eye, minus three and a quarter, minus 50 at 80. Minus three and a quarter, minus 50 at 80. That is the right lens. We'll do the same thing now for the left lens. Prescription is just minus three and a quarter sphere. It gives you the refractive index 1.59, which tells you that is polycarbonate. I just love the extra documentation. Way to go, Zeiss! So, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens. There's a double-sided adhesive sticker on there. I'm going to line that up. Lay out the lenses. Now, Zeiss is a six drop, meaning that a six millimeters drop to the optical, the 180 meridian. Essilor is four millimeters. Zeiss is eight just the way they do things, their algorithms. So, get everything lined up as such. Hit the button, the arm's gonna come down, place the block onto the right lens. Do the same thing now for the left, pull the paper away. Make a, line up the magnets, grab the left lens out of the packet. Line everything up. And same pupillary distance, same optical center height. 
also known as the seg height, the position of wear goes by many names. Line everything up. Put that on there, and I've already labeled this one. I, yeah, I did do that one. So now, gun, you guys missed any of that? Let me recap. <laughs> you might have that joke, but you'll be telling it later. So we're gonna wake up the computer. Job ID number 2284. These are poly. Why am I using my finger? I got my high tech finger here. If these were plastic Hindex, plastic or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to put a polish on your lens. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Press the magnet on there firmly. Well, the sticker. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Hit the start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to go into the frame. First, go round. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens, then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once, is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, which will be minimal with your prescription in this frame. Now the light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, Hindex plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto this lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical sawdust that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. So as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lens materials that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris. It also has the most complete ultraviolet protection, all the way up to 400 nanometers. Zeiss is the pioneer for that. It also has about 30 to 40 percent blue light protection from the photochromic ability of this lens. Now, Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They sold the technology to Essilor which they branded as transitions. Zeiss calls their lenses, let me pull that up there so you can see it, Photo Fusion Gray. It comes in gray, brown, green, and the new blue that you saw me cut last week for my lenses. And this is some weird routine that my edger started doing. It pops up halfway through and then we'll go back down. Just adding a little time on there. It gives us a little more time to spend together during the holidays. This is December 26th, the day after Christmas. Came in to get caught up. So this can go out tomorrow. So now it's doing a routine double check. It's measuring where to place the bubble. So this time it's gonna drop down onto the center wheel which does the bevel on there. Now Zeiss also invented that transition, well the photochromic extra, which Essilor calls transitions extra active. It comes in gray only for Zeiss. For Essilor it comes in gray and brown, although 90% 90, 90 of the time everyone gets the gray. Zeiss lenses do turn are clearer indoors and the new Trans Echelor Transitions Generation 8 turn back as fast as the current and always Zeiss photochromic lenses, the Photofusion. Essilor makes a great product. I've been with them for years. I use Essilor lab equipment. All Zeiss does is make lenses. When you only do one thing, you do it better. They do it for microscopes, telescopes, binoculars. Let me get the paper towel ready. This will be finished up soon enough. Dry it off, see if it fits first time around. Now you're in Rochester, Minnesota. Now there's the Twin Cities of St. Cloud. There are several optical labs there that run three shifts. I guess because it's so cold in Minnesota, they literally have three shifts. The factories work that way. Zeiss, if there's any downside, I can get most Essilor lenses in three days. Zeiss take me. Now here's a little optical sawdust that didn't come off. I'm going to rub that. 
rub my thumbnail around to get the rest of that off. Zeiss lenses take me about four days, three to four days. So if there's any downside, it takes me a little bit longer to ship the Zeiss lenses. But they also are a little bit less expensive, same high quality, but Essilor does enough with branding. All right, I wanna take a little bit more off the lens. Didn't wanna go in there easily, hit retouch. Essilor spends so much money on branding, they have to make it up on the price of the lens. Zeiss does not advertise as much as Essilor, so I can offer you their products a little bit less. Their anti-glare coatings are less expensive. I should have got the book ready, but uh, this is the DuraVision Silver, which has a bluish hue to it, which looks like sapphire. Now, this, this anti-glare coating sells for $79. The DuraVision Platinum um, sells for either $89 or $99. It is the Cruzal Sapphire equivalent, which is $40 more for a Cruzal Sapphire Plus. They have one for 99, which is the Blue Protect, which is a clearer lens than Crizol Provencia. So I'm starting to offer Zeiss products as well. I realized I was just limiting myself. I can get Sapphire, I mean, excuse me, I can get Shamir lenses, I can get Hoya. I don't have those on the website yet, but I offer so many different brands of frames, I figured I should offer more brands of lenses as well. I switched over and started wearing Zeiss and I have to admit, I love it. Now, I knew, have a new pair of Verilux X lenses coming for the Ray-Bans that I'm wearing with my newer prescription. And I'm going to put those in there. I'll make a video for that as well. Dry everything off. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner. Push around. It snaps right in. We're going to move this over to the left lens. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or tonight I'm calling it the George. Hit the start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced again by the two white styluses. First, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as this go around tracing the shape of the left lens and then measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you've got none. You see that George, no edge thickness whatsoever. That's why I use the thinner lighter weight lenses. The other nice thing about Zeiss, when I have the lenses ground, I do a 1.0 millimeter thickness, which is one millimeter thick in the middle of the lens, directly in front of your pupil. Some labs in Essilor cost charge extra for that. Zeiss does not, so when I have these lenses made, I can get them even thinner for the same price. That's what's nice about Zeiss. So I'm gonna put it, go over here to the lens. I'm gonna do, start doing what's known as Final inspection, I'm going to put the lens in above that black dot, which is your where your pupil is going to be. Turn the axis wheel to 80. How about that? It's already there from the last one I did. Check the power. Where's my PD? I'm getting minus three and a quarter. That's because your prescription reads minus three and a quarter, minus 50 and 80. You are nearsighted with your glasses off. Everything is much too large. That's why there's a minus sign. Your lenses minify down to the correct size. So you're on the 13th rung of a ladder. Once the image is the correct size, you have an additional two steps, which is half a diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So that is the fine tune knob and we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 80. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that knob to about 80, just shy of the 90th meridian. Let's check the second curvature of the lens, your astigmatism correction. And we end up, come on, flashlight, come on. There we go. We end up at minus 375, one tick mark away from four in the red. That's because if you add minus three and a quarter and minus 50, you would end up with minus 375. Now your left eye, you only need three and a quarter doppers total correction. Now this frame, the Ray-Ban 7118 Dean, is not currently on my website. I'm going to call my website designer on the way home, have him put it up there. Do what George did. He called or emailed me. I believe he called me to see if he could get this frame. It sells for $178. The Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens adds $149.99. Photo Fusion Gray adds $99.99. And the DuraVision Silver anti-glare coating is $79.99 for a total of $507.97.
tax-free because I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax charged on medical devices. Now, if you were to buy these glasses from another state, the North Carolina sales tax is 7.5%, 507.97. If you bought glasses from someone else and they charge you tax, 7.5, they would charge you another $38.09, really rounding up to 10. No tax is charged. That's one thing that is still tax-free. And of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Puerto Rico, because I got to ship to Puerto Rico next week. Hiram got a pair of Oakleys today for me, the, the metal plates. And I'm going to do a video for him as well. So we're going to tuck this in at the outside corner, press down at the nose. It snaps right in. Take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Throw the block in. Add to my sense of accomplishment sticker collection this tells me how many glasses i have made now yes that is clutter but it's a nice reminder of why i get up every day and go to work it just tells me everything that i've done my first 11 months of being in business for myself the last 15 months the website is growing oh these came off the bottom let me add those back to the bottom so come down here to the lensometer put it in over that black dot read the power and I am getting minus three and a quarter one tick mark away from three minus three and a quarter now your pupillary distance is 62 this is also part of final inspection place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens when we read it off the left lens we're getting 62 millimeters so that is cut perfectly the optical center height is 26 not to the bottom of the lens, but to the bottom of the, I mean, the middle of the plastic of the frame. When we measure that, we're getting 26 millimeters. 26 millimeters, so that is perfect. Now, this is the last thing that I do as I cut your lenses. I mentioned that there is free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Rochester, Minnesota is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm no different, and I'll show you in just a moment. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, when I take off my Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarers, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me because my left ear is higher than my right. So I have to bend this down the right side. I bend this temple downward at the hinge. So it moves the, when I move that down, it moves that side up. So it sits level because my right ear is lower. It would certainly match that way. So when I press down the opposite, it raises that side up. So put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. Flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew like that now I send out a selfie request in every package George please feel free to send me two selfies one inside with the lenses clear one outside with the lenses dark I also send out cleaning instructions so I'll tell you how to care not only for your frame and your lenses so they'll last you for years but for the premium microfiber cloth that I'll provide, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and your case. I'll give you instructions for all of those, so those two will last you for years. Put your lenses into my strong UV box, and as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, a minute to a minute 15. Now, this is important. Pay attention, everyone. All photochromic transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first two weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. And that's why they don't turn dark in a car. And now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they'll get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. So, as I keep talking, they're going to get lighter and lighter. 
these I gave them a, a second burst of strong ultraviolet light but as you can see they will turn at the same speed that the new Essilor Transitions Generation 8 lenses turn from from dark back to clear. Now I will get a link to this video um, below in the comment section showing if you want to buy this frame. It's currently not on the website but within 24 hours it will be. The you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, like George did, could I get this frame? You can go to the Contact Me page of the website and uh, has my phone number as well as email. Just email me the color, the size that you want. I'll check on the price and availability and get back with you if it's not on the website. But my new website designer, JJ, he's going to stay on top of that and get everything listed. So you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below and I will respond back to that. Again, there will be a link in the, disc, in the description box if you want to order this frame in all the different colors that it comes in in the two sizes, 48 and 50, and I believe it's currently available in about five to eight or nine colors. But George in Rochester, Minnesota, thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 7118 Dean. And this, the larger, the 50 eye size in the color 2012, which is the classic tortoise color. They call it Havana, which is a darker tortoise. And now everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.